Okay, here's another update. Um, just doing a quick overview of everybody in the tank. Oh man, I just had a brain freeze right there. I kind of forgot. Um, I guess some of you who are watching this probably know some of these species better than I do. But we have um, one platy, two mollies, one, two female betas, three neon tetras, three rasbora tetras, I mean rasbora daniels, um, two snails, a frog, and two ghost shrimp. There's supposed to be six, but I can only find two. I mean, they could still be there, or I've kind of heard that um, uh, some of these fishes actually eat them. And vice versa, you know, apparently um, somebody was telling me that if a fish dies and I don't catch it quickly, um, the shrimp kind of descend on it. I have an aquatic frog and three ghost catfish. Um, that seems to be everybody in the, in the tank as of this moment. And everybody seems to be good. Uh, everybody here is about two months old in my tank. I don't know how, much, how old the species are. Um, there are some who have been who are almost four months old here. Uh, I did add um, a marimo moss to the tank um, just because uh, I started no doubt beginning to um, grow a lot of um, algae. Uh, so I'm hoping that will help that in terms of competing for the nitrates and phosphates and things like that um, as you can see they look great everybody's doing fine and uh, I mean definitely enjoying that um, change the light source um, I heard that was part of the reason I was beginning to build uh, my algae because a couple of days I've left the light on 24 7 and uh, the fluorescent light seems to be the one that um, encourages moth growth, I mean uh, algae growth. I've switched to, um, oh man I just blanked out on the name, I believe it's um, it's not incandescent but um, uh, I can't remember what it's called but you know they're supposed to be better at um, preventing um, algae growth so uh, let's hope that works. Um, in the meantime though I'm probably going to add two ancholoses or something like that, um, algae eaters. I used to try the other type, the traditional big, you know, um, black ones and stuff like that, but uh, they don't seem to last long in my tank. Somebody said just because um, they need a larger space than a 10 gallon tank, but I doubt that. They, I mean, they don't, you know, they just last right outside the PetSmart you know incubation period or whatever like you know just right outside that um, 14 days they you know 16 17 day in that's when they pass so I never get my money back on those I'll get a refund on those but that's fine um, you know the more colorful animated uh, fish seem to be more entertaining anyway so that's always good well that's it for today